Today, I am talking to you about how to reach your fat loss goals. Stick around for an extra tip at the end of this thing as well. I give you my five best tips on how to get your fat loss goals in the most basic of ways. And uh, if you like what you see, click that subscribe button, like the video, and uh, don't forget to add a comment in there if you have anything to say on this or you want to um, ask any questions. I'm happy to answer any that you have. Hey guys, today we are covering five nutrition tips for fat loss. Follow these tips and you will be guaranteed to get to the weight goals that you want. Hang around to the end and I'll show you an extra little tip just to get things into gear. So, to start with, there's a very basic rule around fat loss that most people seem to forget. And the most basic of this rule is in our number one tip. It is to monitor your food. A lot of the time, we'll help people start to reduce their weight by talking about portion sizing, by talking about the hand size, thumb size, and cup sizing of their hands. But when it comes down to it, if you're really looking to start to, to get that fat loss, you need to know what you're eating, how often you're eating it, and how much you're eating of, of bad foods. A lot of the time, people are eating more of the bad things than they know they are, and they need to reduce these things. For instance, people that like milk, like oats, breads, sugary drinks, anything like that, cream and coffee, they all make a world of difference, right? As they add up, you're not even going to notice it. You'll notice it as I had oats for breakfast and a coffee, right? But that might have been oats for breakfast with peanut butter in it and a coffee with cream. You're suddenly loaded with fat and you're not able to reduce your caloric intake because you have so much extra calories there. You've got a surplus of calories that you can't handle. So that's our number one tip. The number one tip is to monitor your food. My second tip for this one, which I think is an obvious one, but not a lot of people really um, do understand, is to stop drinking your calories. So that might mean stop drinking your Coke. It doesn't matter if you're having something that is sugary and sweet that you like all the time. It's full of sugar. It's got extra added calories that you don't need. The body needs water. It needs water to survive. We are made up of so much water. We use water for our chemical processes in between to, to make all our molecules do what they need to do. Coca-Cola doesn't help that. Neither does milk, unfortunately. I love milk personally as well. I have That's one of the things I have to cut out of my diet when I'm looking at fat loss. Sugary drinks, they're the first thing that need to go. Okay, so lose the soda, lose the sports drinks, lose that, that includes Powerade, Gatorades, all of those, AIDS drinks, um, and just aim to have more water, okay? It doesn't have to be flavored. If you like a bit of flavor in your water, you could add um, some cucumber water, lemon water, some berries, or something along those lines. There's some nice tea bags that you can get that you can put into um, your water bottle and have that as a way to flavor your water up as well if you're a bit bored with it, but one of the best ways that you can actually reduce your caloric intake to get to your fat loss goals is to just drink water and stop drinking your calories. My tip number three down on the list is to get protein in your diet. Most people's diets that I look at do not have anywhere near enough protein and they are usually way loaded up in carbohydrates. Now, I'm not saying carbohydrates are the devil here and I'm definitely not saying that they're bad for you. You definitely do need carbohydrates in your diet and you definitely do need quite a lot of them. I would even go as far to say that it's more important to have carbohydrates as well, right? We need to have those veggies in there. But if you don't have any protein in there and you're going to the gym and you're working out, you're just looking at muscle wastage. You're not actually getting the macronutrients that you need to be able to sustain muscle and to create protein synthesis. So that means our goals that we're trying to hit of this fat loss is just gonna turn into a flimsy body, right? We don't want a flimsy body. We want those rock hard bodies that we see all the time, right? The goal of doing that, you need protein to get that, okay? So protein is our muscle builder. It's what helps us build muscle when we are recovering from exercise, okay? Um, so that's a basic one. So how do we do this? That would be, most people, it's to fix your breakfast. Because every a lot of people will have cereals or breads or, or some sort of grains for breakfast, right? You got a few different options here. You could have a protein smoothie, 
Okay, definitely not just a protein shake. We don't want just a protein shake. Have something that's full of nutrients and get some extra berries and, and stuff that has all flavors and colors that are natural. Pop them in your blender, scoop of protein. If you're a heavy weight lifter, probably some creatine as well. Slam that sucker at the start of the day. Great way to start the day. Um, if you're someone who, like myself, likes to actually eat food in the morning, hell man, make sure you're having a lunch or a dinner meal at breakfast, okay? My favorite, I actually love chili con carne for breakfast. High protein, it's amazing. It gets it gets the day started really well. Um, you could have a chicken wrap. You could have bacon and eggs if you want. You could have steak and eggs. I, it, again, so the question that was asked to me the other day was, aren't sausages full of fat? And I told them to have some sausages, but aren't sausages full of fat and it's gonna increase my calories? At that stage, having something is better than nothing. So I want them to get some protein in the morning. I need that extra fat, that extra meat in the diet. So look at ways where you are where you haven't been getting your protein and you'll be able to do that because you've been tracking your food, right? Um, this then goes into my next bit, which is my number four, which is to eat a balanced meal at every meal. So again, if you're having breakfast cereals for, for breakfast that are full of sugar, You've got no protein. It's got no nutrient content to it, really. It's just some wheat and flour and some sugar that has extra added vitamins that are put into it. With Usually with milk that has, again, extra added calcium put into it. Look for something that's basic, guys. You could do salad with some steak chunks. You could do, again, meat and veg. Stick with what we know. Cereals only came around late in the process. People were having steak and veg for a lot longer, okay? Um, make sure that we are having these balanced meals throughout the day, okay? Um, and I think that follows along with a lot of what I've already said there. And my number five and final tip that I have here before I get to the extra little help at the end to help you get to these goals is to make sure that you're in a caloric deficit. You can't get fat loss if you're feeling full all the time. It's as simple as that. You can get to a point where you're not feeling hungry. Don't get me wrong, I don't want you starving all the time. Starving yourself is bad. But if you're feeling full and bloated and heavy all the time, I can almost guarantee that you're not in a caloric deficit and you're probably not going to be getting towards those goals anywhere near as quick as you want to. Unless you are someone who can manage to work a fair bit amount throughout the day, but you're, if that's the case, then your energy expenditure that you're calculating for will already be high, okay? To be in that caloric deficit, we run the calculation. A great way to do this, you could even use MyFitnessPal. Perfect way. It'll work out everything for you to start with. Check those numbers there. You hit the, you hit the numbers for the food, you exercise a little more. So that might mean that, let's say you're trying to lose 0.25 kilos a week or 0.5 kilos a week, no more than 500 grams a week is what you wanna aim for. Be in that deficit, right? And if you're trying to do this, um, you, you're hitting your macros, you're hitting your calorie numbers there, and you exercise throughout a few days throughout the week as well, you then have that awesome opportunity of losing weight, gaining muscle. Okay, so you've reached a calorie deficit through exercise and diet. It's what we're after. They're my five tips, guys, to how to get fat loss and get to the goals that you want to. Here's an extra little tip to help you get there a little more comfortably. Treat things with an 80-20 rule. So if you 80% of the time are super strict with your diet, you're going to feel great. But if you do it 100% of the time, you're going to feel terrible. So what I would suggest Sort your diet out so that 80% of the time it looks clean, it looks tidy, it is tight, it is really strict. 20% of the time, misbehave, go nuts, stick within your calories, but have some food that you really want to have. Let yourself loose a little bit. Don't be so strict with the diet that you get down on yourself, okay? There are five tips for today, guys. Hope you get to your fat loss goals from this. If you enjoy what you see, please like, share, send it around with your friends. Please click that subscribe button. It helps support me in more ways than you know. Like on this um, video, comment on this video. All of these things will help me get supported by YouTube, guys. I need you to subscribe and I need you to support me. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you in the next one. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching my video today. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps support me more than you know. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. Get those fat loss goals. See you next time. Given that's how we live it, don't be mad at the system. It's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and